the dust. Talk us through this, guys. Yeah, really nice. So we've seen the Vos Vingos. You had a great day yesterday. Three busts, but um, you know they're le you know, learning. They're getting their experience in a big competition like that. Yeah, uh, I had a good chat with them yesterday, and they're really pleased with their competition. And um, I did mention the the twenty ones yesterday were fantastic, and they yes. said they have been working on them, and it they're shows. really pleased. It yeah, it shows. And so the first round today for um, FS. NC2012, it's the same numbers and letters that we saw for VFS, but they are very different blocks. This is a working skydive ray. It is indeed, and there's many, many permutations and combinations with this dive ray. There are. I'm intrigued. In fact, we were both discussing this morning before this, what are teams going to choose? Are they going to choose the, 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 the standard route, you know, where they get good memory and they can, uh, they've got moves that they practiced, or there's a couple of quicker moves that could be taken by some of those teams? I'm, very, I'm intrigued as to see what teams are going to be doing. I am, yeah, and I think it's going to come down to experience levels as well and how much you've actually seen and managed to train mirrored, blo uh, mirrored blocks or, you know, mirrored randoms as well or different randoms, you know, your C randoms or whatever you like to call exactly. them. Exactly. I mean, first up there, we've got block 20 coming up and there's two ways to do this block. Some teams only have one, so we'll see some slightly longer random moves. Some teams will go big and do the other one. They're, yeah, uh, they're right. B20. Yeah. Let's have a look. See what Vos Vin girls have to offer. Okay, so NC standard 20. No surprises there. And then into the 12. So let's see what move they take from the end of the 12. There you go. Totally standard skydive. Completely standard. All right. So this may have some slightly slower moves, but everyone knows where they're going. Exactly. Oh, that was a bit of a breakdown there, wasn't there, from yeah, the 20, which is a block 20. that can bite. Yes, it can. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. Um, but, you know, they're putting it back together. I mean, the end of the 20, you know, there you go. Nice close there That's to better. the 12. Not the easiest build, um, end of block to beginning of block, but they're so dealing with it now. The block you're about to see, the 20, it can be challenging if that point flyer gets a little too deep over the piece. You really want to use that clean air just to the right of the piece in order to get that spin exactly. done. Good job, Osmond girls. I'll be happy with that. Yeah, a little bit of a glitch on that 20, that second 20 close, but they seem to get the get their act together for the end. Oh, okay, next up, Ray, we have... NFTO, who are uh, four, five points in front, I believe, at the moment, and um, have really come out of the blocks in this competition right from the first round. And uh, they look super confident. Um, you know, again, another team in a, in a forming stage. Uh, with Julia Foxwell just joining them um, in this orientation now in this team. So let's see what they've got. Standard. They're far ahead. They're like 13 points ahead. Oh, 13 yeah, points ahead, okay, sorry. So let's have a look at their engineering. We thought, yeah, standard. We had a chat with them, didn't we, before we did, they yeah. went in. And there's that long move into the end. The standard uh, dive does have its own complications. It's familiar, but it does have some long moves. Yes. Look from the end of the 12 into the end. Jill's doing a nice job getting exactly. that back out uh, into the end. And the thing is, Pete, we could probably discuss it now. I mean, uh, you can have long moves in dives, but it's always best sometimes to everybody to have a longer move. But in some cases here, you can have one flyer with a longer move, which exactly. can be disruptive. And that could really upset if the team are not looking for that last person to get the grips. You can then create a bust, and then everyone's locked out, exactly. not knowing where to go. All right, so there's some glitches in there. Yes, definitely. The memory aspects, yeah. they look like they had a 12 that wanted to over-rotate, exactly. maybe missing the catch. <laughs> But uh, not a bad start for the girls this morning. That front piece can turn very fast sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that is actually the fastest turning piece in the pool for FS, forward turning compressed. Very easy to start. Got to learn to stop it. Exactly. It used to be my f worst block, but now I love it. You love that block <laughs> now. <laughs> do, I've seen you play it very, very nicely. OK, Neftis Wimby, uh, the girls from France. Got a little bit of an answer as to why three girls and one, three boys and one girl are missing a team member. It's because she's in this team. Ah, that makes a lot of sense <laughs> that now. That makes more sense now, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, different engineering. Yes. So we've got a short move into the end, which gets us rid of the slot switcher, which was one of the options that we looked at. Which is good to see. That's brave. See that forward step yeah. and then out, and there's a swing move happening. So this is the first team we've seen this morning taking the slightly non-standard engineering gets them back into uh, home positions for the rest of the page. I actually quite like it, though, Pete. I'm looking good with it, looking mm. good. You have to know it, though, right? You've yeah. got to be confident with it as exactly. well. And I think Pamela is going to take some confidence into this, this team. Yeah, she would have seen it, and she would know it, and she would have used it this before. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, very exciting to see those girls take that engineering, actually. It shows where they're going to go, yeah. Definitely. 
Yeah, great stuff. Thank you very much, Ray and P. And, and we can join us on the wingames.com on the website. We've got all the results are on there, and you can review. <coughs> excuse me, you can review all the flights as they happen. Yo, that was a very exciting um, start to the the, uh, the session this morning with the girls. Uh, we saw some different engineering, Vosvind and NFTO taking standard slot switching engineering, and the French girls doing something a little bit more experimental. I know, and I'm hoping that we're going to see some more experimental oh, stuff yes, coming please. out in the open. Yes, please. I've got my voice back. I was trying to tell you on the windgames.com, you can review all the jumps. Back to the action with round seven for the open. Okay, so same skydive for the female and the open. This is very important. It means that uh, the girls can see exactly where they're standing up against exactly. with regards to the open field. And um, yeah, what a day yesterday. We've got some uh, big battles happening at the top end. We've got a lot of busts happening for some teams. IFS Moscow they had a bit of a, a gnarly day, Ray. I mean, they um, looking smooth, but busting way too much, guys. Got to work no. that communication out. And the thing that amazed me is that we were just talking about it, we both raised voices, because we just like, we, we watched them, and they looked so good and so exactly. mechanical. We saw where they did break down on a few rounds, but mm. we just weren't expecting did that number of busts. Did not look like the bust. So we have Real Fly Fire. Um, so right now, Real Fly Fire, uh, they bust on every round yesterday apart from one. Let's see if they can start their day off better. Point Flyer having an absolute nightmare yeah. in the tunnel right now. Um, found herself, yep, got herself back on track now. Uh, still a little bit of panic. You can see it in the body language. Um, and then we're moving back into a slot switch page. Communication issues. This is a team that's moving from AA to AAA this year. Uh, we've seen them really struggle on the slot switching jump tray. Yeah, I mean, y you would do. You know, it's, you're just getting used to it. It's uh, new visuals. You know, you're picking up grips on different team uh, team members. You're turning blocks with different uh, with a different team member. Could be a slightly different size. So it's just something that you need to get used to. And yeah. they're finding their feet. And you know, we're not doing a bad job of it. No, they are. I mean, they're doing real good. And they look. Um yeah, intrigued by that performance. I mean, it's, it's a developing moment for them here. When you go into AAA, you double your information load. You've got to learn all those blocks in another slot. So brave step for these guys to come and compete at the Wing Games. Thanks for coming, uh, Real Fly Fire. <laughs> Next in, we've got the Winderbona Angels, who are fighting it out with uh, three boys and a girl um, in 15th and 16th place. It's very tight down there on 106 points. Um, so uh, let's see how they get on. Yeah, some battles all the way through, as we've mentioned. Um, so today is going to be a time where all those other teams look at each other and see how they've gone after these three rounds. Let's look at engineering for Winderbone Angels. It looks pretty standard, um, although the slots which are creating some memory issues for point and outside center. Nice yeah. uh, B slot 20 look there. Very yeah, good. no, it's nice. I, I mean, I think it's um, these guys have got off to a little bit of a better start in, and than the the real fly fire team. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see that by the predictive score. Predictive score is uh, ticking up a little bit over there. But slightly different block technique on the block 20. Mm -hmm. On the block 12, block sorry. 12. Not as much of a spinner, a bit exactly. more of a walk, yeah. yeah and uh, we did say we've got different coaches doing different things with teams. Um, okay, so it wasn't a burnaround. We're not expecting NC2012 to be a burnaround. It's a working round. There's a little random sprint in there, but it does have its own complications. From a commentator's perspective, this is a real interesting round for us. We're really looking forward to seeing different engineering, different block techniques, uh, and to see what, what is working the best, exactly. what's going to give us the most result. I'm looking forward to getting the messages later going, you got that wrong, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to happen. Okay, so who we got now? Equinox are Equinox. in the tunnel. The team from Lithuania? Lithuania, that's right, with those green shoes, which mm -hmm. we do like. This is into the 12. I think it looks standard so far. Standard technique, spin that piece, little walk at the beginning, and yeah, standard yes. engineering. So we've got a slot switcher with pretty standard engineering, which is quite long into the end, but it's what a lot of teams are going to be going for this yeah. morning. And it's a nice, just nice steady pace. Not taking, they're respecting the moves uh, between the randoms and the blocks. So, you know, this is exactly what you want to do on a round like this. Yeah, you need to be ready, especially that point fly needs to be ready for the uh, 20 when it exactly. comes up. Uh, the last thing is to, you know, be rushing into it and then making that move before you or the piece is ready to exactly. make the move. We saw some like exceptional flying yesterday. I think it was from the Wimby Unicorns as well, where they finished a block and straight onto a, 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 another page of, a, I think it was a random sprint, but it was just amazing to see how you can do that. But you can only do that with a lot of training, a you lot can. of experience. You um, can, but what we're seeing now, we're seeing some massive developments in um, 
formation skydiving. We're seeing teams take uh, grown-up sporting attitudes into it, and we're seeing flow developing. We're seeing more mental training. We're seeing more physical training. Uh, the FS game is just getting higher and higher each year. Team, okay. I think this is the team, not Equinox. So I'm going to get a bit. A bit okay, we've just seen team, Equinox. So this will be standby. This is the three That's Italians right. and one Ukrainian um, who had, let's see, they're, they're in competition, aren't they? They are locked in. I'm just having a quick look. Yeah, so they're actually locked in with, uh, with Equinox. There we go, perfect. So they're, they're locked in pretty tight, actually down at 66, I think, at the bottom. Yeah, they are, 95, 95 points 95, excuse me, yeah. sorry, that was the VFS I was thinking about. <laughs> uh, struggling a little bit with this round. As we've said, it's not the easiest of rounds. Um, although steady, Ray, I mean, nothing fast. Very deep vertical there exactly, for the point player so. on the 20. Brave, brave lady. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that 12 looked like it was a bit of a bust, but it was out of time, so no worries from them there. Okay. Very similar projected score um, to, uh, to Equinox. So yesterday you may have seen some of the big numbers. You know, you saw 40s and 30s. This round, it's not going to be like that, guys and girls. It's going to be at a slightly different pace. Right. Okay, so three boys and one girl. We've now, as I said, found out why Thomas is the girl. Exactly. Uh, because Claire has moved and she's flying her uh, with her team, her yeah. national team. Yes, this is, which is good to see. Yeah. Um, these guys are getting on, uh, guys, three guys and uh, Thomas as a girl, getting on really well. Um, they are currently on 108 points after their five rounds. So I guess, you know, with a new teammate, very experienced um, uh, teammate with Thomas and obviously Mule has been competing for some time but you know as a team they're fairly fresh and fairly yep. new um, so they'll be I believe they're taking it standard Pete yeah look, um, I'm sorry I was looking they're in a battle with Winterboner Angels yeah. right now as well so those guys are kind of locked together uh, be interesting to see how they get no they're taking the same as the French girls Just. they've got that swing into the end from the end of the uh, the 12 so 20 Nice short move yeah. into the 12. Oh. And then watch here go from the, as Mule just stepping forward into the N, and it leaves him as the point of the C, and then back home for the 20. I wonder if you're going to see a theme here from French Flyers. Yes, you've noticed that, huh? Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got Julien, who is uh, coaching a lot of the teams, doing an amazing job with these French teams. He's got such a wealth of experience. And uh, Blue Steel about to get inside the tunnel. My team from Finland, Ray, they bought me chocolate <laughs> and coffee. And you have not shared any of it. Thanks, uh, Pete. I have it today, ready to go, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, guys and girls. Okay, so out, um, yeah, Blue Steel are tight in with Winderbona Austria and Papea, the Spanish military team. It's only three points in it there. All right, in the so the I've just, my Otto, the guy in pink, he just nailed that 20. He has been struggling with that block move the whole year. I was stoked to see it. Let's see how he does on the, the next A slot page. So end of the 12. See, all right, see how he does here. Dude, nice. I am so proud of you. I can feel the pride. Oh my God. Otto, I just, I'm going to buy you your first beer of the night. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, coach come commentator Pete is uh, pretty excited for his team Blue Steel. Looking nice and calm and executing a totally standard um, version of this guy. And executing it really well, Pete. So you must, I, I can feel the pride. We don't need to talk Look about that. Look at those that. smiles. Look exactly. at Matthew. He's super happy. <laughs> Is that yeah, a smile? Yeah. That's a bit of a smile there, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Next kudos, kudos to those keys. Next goes, guys and girls. Winderbona Black Mantis from Austria are in next. And as you said, Pete, they're fighting out with Papaya and Blue Steel. They're currently on 120 points. Um, after five rounds. So let's see what they've got. Yep. All right, so just again, Blue Steel, fantastic job of that last round. Otto, love you, man. Love your work. <laughs> and into the 12. Okay, engineering standard. Standards. Yes, yes, standard. All right, so let's pay attention to see what the team from Austria um, also doing a really nice job of this round. We've been enjoying watching them, Ray, haven't we? We have, I have. And the block technique here is really... Ooh. Oh, I think the judges <laughs> will be having a look at that tail. So there's one thing as a tail flyer that you know. You don't key the ends. And the reason you don't key it is because you can't see it. Exactly. If you can see it, then you can key it, but you can't. This is a voice of experience from the one and only Pete <laughs> Allen, who has flown a lot of tail. <laughs> yes. And, uh, but their block technique is fantastic. And key a few things as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, so decent block technique, um, memory's okay, but struggling with communication yeah. there, Ray. So that's going to slow them down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, you know, it wasn't too bad. I mean, we might have seen a glitch or two, but that was really, really good block technique. It was really nice to see. 
Okay, Lucky Boys and Real Fly Fire are locked in competition so far after round five. Let's see what kind of engineering and techniques we've got from uh, the team from Hungary. Am I correct? Yes, that's right. And uh, I really like this entrance into the tunnel. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. There's the end to see. Yeah, ends and 22s. They're really nice exactly. launches, aren't they? Really yeah. enjoyable. So far, so standard. Technique-wise as well, really nice execution and a standard engineering yeah. from Lucky Boys from Hungary. It's nice to see. I mean, these are I'm watching their three. We've watched variations of these teams through the years, and their block technique has really improved over the last year. Yeah, as our understanding of the blocks have uh, has changed yeah. as well. So I just saw a really nice uh, B slot um, uh, twenty. Uh, it's really good to see these guys keeping some consistency through uh, through the different blocks. As we said, it's a real working jump. Communication is working well, and. Um, uh, the guys from Hungary, I think they're going to be quite happy with this round, Ray. Yeah, no, I would be. It's looked a little bit messy towards the end there, but they're out of time. And um, they'll be happy with that. Definitely still in the hunt and fighting it out with Papea and uh, and Real Fly. Sorry, no, with Real Fly and maybe, you know, with Blue Steel. If they, uh, they could be fighting out with Blue Steel as well. It's quite tight down there in the middle of the pack. All right. Um, out of the blue, I believe. Yes, out of the blue. Still my favorite team. Yes. They did ask with me, they checked in with me, are, are you, you know, are we your favorite team? I'm like, you know, you've not been as consistent with your flying in this competition, so up your game. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Did you mention they're in a the battle with Atomics? I didn't, yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to check quickly. Out, so, of yeah, blue, yeah, out of the blue, and Atomics, the, so we've got the Dutch national team and the German yeah. national team locked in a battle. They've got to be enjoying that right yeah, now. Yeah, there's two points difference between them at mm. the moment, as it stood after round five. And... Um, I think they're actually listening to me here as well. No. Oh, no. Commentators <laughs> curse. What did you do, Ray? <laughs> so really struggled there with that build of the 20. Um, but getting back on the page, I think they lost a few seconds there with that little brain lock. It's all out of time, guys. Don't worry. You're done. You're done there. That's a shame, actually. Mm. I, I was... Uh, but then, you know, Atomics had a little bit of a, um, a glitch. As a well, glitch yeah. So, mm. you know, it would even itself out. Yeah, let's see what the judges say uh, with those two rounds there. So Papea, the team from from the home country, from Spain, Spanish military team, they are locked in the battle with a Blue Steel from Finland and Winderbona, Austria. Yeah, they are fighting out. I mean, there's it's literally not much in it, right? It's only three points in it between uh, mm. Winderbona and, uh, sorry, with the, uh, yeah, Winderbona, Black Mantis and Blue Steel. Okay, so there's that real fun entrance that you mentioned before on the end. Most teams are going for that. A little bit of a dive in for the uh, outside center flyer. So we're getting to the end of block 12, engineering-wise, standard. standard yeah. There we go. All right, interesting colors. Seen a couple of all black teams this morning, and um, they kind of get lost a little bit in the background of this tunnel, Ray. They, they do, and uh, because it's a black background tunnel, really, yes. from what you can see. But, you know, I've watched competitions with a white background tunnel, and... Uh, the black suits and the thingies work really well. Yeah, so. so there was a couple of comments online. I saw Jason Cook commenting yesterday on what the colors. Now, it's important, guys. But I think we need to look at this within our sport. Uh, Ray, um, Regan had a poll last year with myself at uh, Body Flight Challenge. Guys, we need to start looking at color choices and also the backgrounds of the tunnels. That's mm. something maybe the tunnels can get involved in as well. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, it's your choice, as a, I guess, as a tunnel operator as to what color you want to do it. But then does that mean that FS flyers have to have multiple suits? Well, it's really easy for the tunnel to change the lighting in the background. Okay. They could actually, like we're using with green screen, you know, you can actually put a bit of a background there okay. that will really help out. Uh, so I'd like to discuss that with wind or uh, management when we finish so we can make this meet even better. No, it's hard to believe. <laughs> of course. All right, Oceanside Atomics. Oceanside Atomics, and they're in, and they are fighting it out, as you say, with Out of the Blue. So different 20 there. We're seeing the other 20. And okay, N, C, and then... Yeah, so we've got the other 20, uh, the mirror 20, if you like. That's right, and that makes it easier from the close of that 20 into the 12. Mm -hmm. Um, which is why if you've practiced it and you've trained the Mirror 20, it's uh, going to work for you, and it looks like these guys have. Yeah, it's working good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Some teams go 50-50 on training with that block, block 20, where you mm -hmm. see the solo flyer spinning. Um, the other nice thing about turning it that way if, is the cog. Yes, I you know, love you, that. that. You haven't got that panic that we saw with a couple of uh, point flyers as they start the 20. You know, with a cog, you just spin in place. If there's any contact, it's incidental okay. and doesn't slow you down. 
So With a slot I'm switcher, I always used to breathe a sigh of relief when we took the mirror 20. Yeah. That's the outside centre. I was like, thanks very much. You know, it took me a long while to love that block in, uh, in point slot, actually. Mm. Um, that 20 takes a yeah, certain amount of composure, I think, in order to do it well. So next in, we've got Wimby Unicorns, who are fighting it out with uh, ISI, ISR Fire Flash. There's a point between and them. And Moscow. Mm, and Moscow, of course. Yeah, sorry. Only two points between these, these three teams. Yeah, so we've got places four, five, and six that are in a very tight battle. Uh, there's only three points in it, as Ray just mentioned. So let's see how they get on with the day L. There we go. So mm. we've got the French engineering, of course. Julian is on the team. He's coaching the team with Clementine. And uh, they've gone for that... Um, memory kind of getting rid of the memory and quite a nice move into the N although they're struggling a little bit with their random builds yeah it's looking a little bit sticky right yeah I mean the N build is working well but everything else is just a little bit mm. locked out maybe getting some flow there interesting technique on the 12 they have no walk at the beginning of it, it looks like they're spinning it mm -hmm. whether that's accident or design uh, we'll see there we go yeah so it's just kind of Oh, it's walking at the yeah, end. Yeah, it is. Yeah, which is an odd choice, actually. Finishing with translation as opposed to rotation. Um, that'll be interesting. I'm going to talk to Julian about his motivation for that block technique. But some teams have played with it in different ways, right? To, to see how you can make it work best for you. Maybe that works for their team. So yeah. be intrigued to see what Julian has to say. So here we go. We've got your team, Echo Chamber. <laughs> gave you a present yesterday. Yes, how do. are those trainers? Do they fit? Yeah, they do perfectly. Very I'm nice. saving them. They'll go in a glass box. Um, so Echo Chamber, just behind, 10 points behind uh, IFS Moscow at the moment. They're kind of on their own, aren't they? They are, yeah. They're hanging out. They're holding their own to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And they have other goals as to some of the other teams here, uh, very standard engineering that we're seeing so far. Their goals are to be ready for the outdoor season. And they're doing that, you can see that. And it's seen reflected in their flying as well. It's nice and deliberate. Just, Lockdown. Yes. Do you worry about the separation at the end of, so mm. end of yeah, the 12 to the end. Let's have a look here, uh, okay. off and on. So it's uh, inside Santa just trying to show separation there from the end of the 12, as Ray said, into the end. Let's look at it, see if that next page, oh, it's out of time from here. So a little flash off mm. the grips and back on. Um, just so that you guys understand, if you're not into FS, we need to show complete separation in between each random and the build of the first part of the block and the break from the second part of the block. And that's why you see the teams removing their hands away from the grips. And that's why we use those contrasting glove colors as well. I saw fire flash. Okay. Yeah, the problem with that is that once you've seen it and a judge looks at it, they're going to look at it more and more, right, Pete? If you look at the, yeah. se you know, the separation issues could follow through from round to round. Next in, we have ISR Fireflash. Who are in the battle with Unicorns and Moscow. Exactly. Let's see what they've got. Engin oh, different C. I mm -hmm. saw them playing with that on the Creepers this morning. Okay. Okay. And different 20. So there we go. Oh, N standard, different C, leaving the uh, outside center out facing. I kind of like it so far. Yeah, it's, it's uh, different to what we've seen from anyone yeah, else so exactly. far, if I'm, if I'm correct. A little bit of a challenge there for the C shape. Yes. Uh, leaving that person in outside center a little bit tight on the mm. tail. Yeah, but it's, uh, they're making it work, right? So if they you are, and it does put them very close for the, for the build of the 20 exactly. as well, which is nice. So very different engineering. The N is the same, but they've got a different C and the mirror 20. I mean, it's nice for us to watch whether it's any faster or, you know, we're going to see where the scores they depends come out. Depends on the team, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, really depends on the team. I'm thinking they're going to be quite happy uh, with that round. They're just a tiny little glitch in the first couple of pages. And uh, there's Fire Flash making way for SDC Rhythm. <laughs> this is super exciting. Oh, my word. <laughs> Yesterday was so exciting, Ray, it watching was. these guys with Drew. There you see Drew in the Golden Knights uniform. Just to let you guys understand what's happening, uh, Jeanette has stepped down this year from competition and made way for Drew, the alternate from the Golden Knights, who is doing an amazing job exactly. and acquitting himself very well with SDC Rhythm. Jeanette is in the audience, I believe. She's just there on the right. You can just see her watching. Um, yeah, I had a brief catch up with her yesterday. It's uh, it's great. She's <laughs> she's watching. They are super fast. Really Different pleased. launch technique to a lot of the teams. Although engineering looks pretty standard. We'll see here into the end. Nope, there we go. They're taking oh switch and it's a, so it's a different end, but still with the slot switching yeah. element of it. So again, another engineering. We did say this was going to be exciting. <laughs> So they're going for the zigzag N, which is quicker than having the outside center back out into the end. There you go. It's a strange shape, very different to what we're seeing the other teams doing. Um, keeps the memory element in there. It doesn't get rid of the memory like we saw the other teams doing. 
um, but they're hoping that it's going to be quicker. It looked tricky though, right? It just it just looks. Um, I don't maybe like to it, me, really. I don't like it. I've never like flown it. it to be honest. I've flown that in a few times, and I like it in certain situations. And they've made a couple of the pages work well, but general. It looks sticky for me. Yeah, it looked it, like there was a bit of uh, panic for the front pen. I, I completely agree with you. I mean, as I said, I've never flown it, but it just, from the outside, it didn't look uh, didn't look like the flying that we've seen from them, maybe because it's something a little bit different and new to the mix. But, you know, they brought it. Let's see how they get on. Hey, the... kudos, though. I mean, they went with it, you know. Yeah. they uh, they Obviously, they're using this as uh, some experience and trying some new stuff as well. Really good to see those guys going for it. IFS Moscow, what are you going to show us? <laughs> Different launch technique, having the uh, center rotate into the N. Coggin. Okay, mm -hmm. now into the N. There we go. So standard N, C, mirror 20, mm -hmm. and look like another bus there, yeah, right? Yeah, it did. Um, so the, this 20, the mirror 20, has the team's individuals cogging, which makes for some interesting grips at the end, making very cheated, but nice into the 12. That's beautiful 12s. Just watching the 12s Mechanical, again. Mechanical. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful to watch. But yeah, just one bus there that we would have picked up on. Yeah, you just mentioning the 12s. It, uh, we saw them yesterday giving us a masterclass on block eight. Yes. They're now doing the same thing for the front of uh, block 12. Really nice job, guys. It's nice, that front piece, so nice and tight for the clothes. There's no mm. energy taken into it. It's really nice to it see. Didn't look as fast as um, SDC. Let's have a look what the judges say. Um, yeah, Here they we... don't look too happy. They're pretty aware of that glitch, I think, in that first page. And there's Nicholas. What a great helmet colors these guys have. I have to say, those are some of the swishiest looking uh, <laughs> helmets that I've seen on a team. It's good, though, because they've gone from the different colored helmets now to the same helmet, so it's harder for us to tell. It's, um, it's but... kind of disruptive in a really cool way. I like <laughs> it. It is indeed. Let's see what they've got. Mm. Okay, so engineering-wise, what are these guys going to show us? Standard and standard so far and all the way. So All-American all the way for these guys. No changes, just standard engineering. Let's see if it pays off for them uh, with the confidence of doing moves that you've done thousands of times, yep. unless you're Chris and Joey, who are brand new to the team. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it, does it? They look like they know what they're doing. They, this looks fantastic, really good. I mean, the interview that, that Leslie had with them yesterday, you know, packing up their jobs from New York and coming over and... Uh, and it's a fairy story. It's brilliant. It's a story that we've seen a lot in Skydome. We saw Dan BC, Jack Jeffries, those guys back in the day at the beginning of Airspeed, and we're seeing again to this day, it fills me full of real positive, warm emotions hearing about the guys building this team. Yeah, it's great. And that was an amazing score. That just looked, They look so pleased as well. Yeah, they're having fun. <laughs> Great. Here we go. Okay, NMPC H Hayabusa, uh, the military parachuting team from Belgium. And they are going to give us, well, what do you reckon? Hopefully a masterclass. I mean, they, <laughs> it was a bit up and down yesterday, their rounds. I had some really strong rounds, but not the consistency that we're used to seeing from Hayabusa. No, this is really, they've got to deliver today. Um, they dropped the ball a little bit yesterday. They've, today is their day where they have to consolidate and show who they are as world champions. Yeah. Maybe looking a little bit too relaxed yesterday. Let's see what they've got. I today. think so too, Ray. I think you hit the nail on the head there. A little bit of complacency, dare I say it. And uh, the slap from yesterday is going to wake them up and they're going to start smelling the coffee. I love um, watching their 12s as well, the front piece as well. I've flown quite a few two on two with these guys and it's, again, another masterclass. So they've gone for the similar options with yeah. regards to kind of relatively standard, um, making things pretty obvious there. Yeah. Yeah, really nice good. to see. Although, uh, I'm not going to watch that predicted score no. because uh, it got me a little bit lost <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> they, we had this conversation yesterday. We were like, we're not going to look at the predicted score. Yeah, great stuff. That's a round over there with Hayabusa leaving the tunnel. And we've got the results of this morning's VFS. Let's have a look at that, Ray and Pete. Okay, so Izerchito are still one point <laughs> ahead. So they matched each other, 25 each for the teams at the top of the leaderboard. And in third place, Windor, solid 16, consolidating their third position. Rest of the field? Yeah, I mean, they've got uh, Singularity and um, uh, Ikara Speed also joined on 11 points, so they're still fighting it out. And um, uh, Alpha Project just bringing it up on eight points uh, from that round. And I'm just trying to see if like there are any busts of any description in that round. and. Um, 
Let's have a look. And that was round six, I believe. Yeah, so the guys are keeping it exciting for us at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. There, there aren't that many fast rounds left. Their round nine is looking quite fast in the VFS, um, but not too sure if there's going to be enough speed available for a team to make a clear difference. So we've had some questions coming through on the comments on the live stream. Thanks very much for everybody for joining us with your all your observations and your good mornings. It gives us a great feeling here. And we've had a few questions asked about the production, especially the top view camera. Simon uh, Brentford, the outside camera for NFTO, is saying, uh, was it, is it a new camera? It looks a lot clearer, it looks a lot better than last year. So I spoke to Jordi, the uh, technical engineer here about that. And he said it's the same camera, but he's put some extra work into it. And one of the things he's doing is He's protected it with a piece of Perspex, and he's changing that every day, and this is one of them. You this is the that. piece of Perspex. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's, Look like at a, this. it's like Apollo stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And every day, it's right at the top, at the, at the really? veins. He has to get up there at the night time when we're finished and put a brand new one of these in. Now, he's not doing that every day of the year. It's just during the competition, <laughs> but 